What's up, Space Cadets? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival. All right, so we're going to take our money here that we made selling sniper rifles. I went ahead off camera and made a bunch more sniper rifles and sold them all, and these guys are restocking, so we're going to buy as much stuff as we could possibly fit in our ship? Base? I don't know. I went ahead and put down a base here. All right, we got this uh, drop base. All right, it's very simple. There's nothing in it. We need to put at least a constructor in it. Probably have to put some defenses on it as well because we are on Omicron. And Omicron uh, does have some base attacks, right? I don't know what <clears throat> Ziggurat is, but next attack, Talon. No, faction details. Active HQ. Oh, so that's their HQ? And then overall probability. Wait, can I get attacked on Omicron or not? Because I'm starting to think that there's no there's no Xerox on Omicron. I... Not really sure, to be honest. I'm going to put some defenses on it anyway. Honestly, it's not that cheap. And I could always... Anytime you like put down a turret, you could just take pick it back up. And if you want, you could put it in your factory and you won't lose any resources anyway. So, no big deal. Also, uh, because I came here and got some of the ores, I was able to make my MX-5E. This thing is an absolute beast. Let me show it to you really quickly. Alright, so we're just going to go in the back here. Alright, this... <laughs> there we go. This thing has everything it, everything you're ever going to need, except a constructor. It doesn't have a constructor. And the reason it doesn't have a constructor is because the constructor would push the CPU way higher. Because the constructor, I think it's like 2,000 or 20,000? Honestly, I don't remember. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I'm, I'm kind of curious now. So um, we need to go into here and go into small... Vet. There it is, mobile constructor. So the CPU is 2,000. Actually, this thing's pretty close to being able to handle the CPU. 1415. It would just be 478 over. Uh, but anyway, this thing can't hold the constructor because it can't hold the CPU. I might be able to make more CPU devices and stuff. I'm not really sure how any of that works. So I decided, yeah, we'll just leave this thing the way it is. It does have a it does have warp capability. As a matter of fact, um, I built it in the crown system and I warped it over to Omicron. Uh, which is just awesome. So now I don't have to use teleporters. I can actually bring my ship with me, and that's going to be a wonderful thing. So what we need to do now is we are going to hook up with the uh, Merc MX-5E, and we are going to put resources there. Now, when you put resources down here like this, it's basically in your hotbar, but you're still connected to the system up here. So what you could do is you come in here, you press T, and then you go into your survival constructor, and then you could just move stuff around a lot easier like that. And what we're going to be making here is a small constructor. We need a motor. What the hell is a motor take that I don't have? Probably like carbon substrate or something like that. Let's let's take a look really quick. Uh, motor, 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 motor. Uh, nanotubes. What the hell do nanotubes take? Carbon substrate, what I tell you? All right, I do believe I have some carbon substrate in here. Not a lot, but I do have some. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and make ourselves a small constructor. The small constructor will go in there. It will allow us to make the large constructor. Although, I might just make a bunch of these small constructors. I don't really see the need for a large constructor. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, I might need a large constructor to make the turrets. So, uh, we'll probably make the large constructor as well. Again, I don't I don't think there's any talent on this planet. Or, I'm sorry. I don't think there's any Xerox on this planet. Uh, but, I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Like I said, I'm coming to the base. And we're looking at the statistics. All right, Talon, Talon, Active HQ, Ziggurat, overall probability uh, of attack. Wait, overall probability. Does that mean base attack? The Talon would never attack my base. So I'm not sure if this is regarding the Talon or not. I'm not really sure. I'm not convinced that I'm not going to get attacked. Although I'm, I'm probably at 85% convinced I'm not going to get attacked, but not 100%. It's a pretty nice little starter base setup. Uh, I went ahead and put some lights. There were already lights in here. I adjusted them to my liking. Um, I now have the... Uh, the large constructor down? Yes, and I'm working on... Well, actually, I've got the advanced constructor already made. And I'm going to put that down next. But I need to wait until this thing's done. Because I'm going to pick this one up uh, to put it down. And I've also got a couple things being uh, made as well. Not a lot of room in here. But, you know, it's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So, this thing was floating. And I went ahead and used the fill option on this. And it's not that bad. Like, it's a lot better than I remember. The fill option. So, check this out. Um, oh, hold on, I gotta reload. Gotta reload, people! Oh, okay, that's too much. Alright, so let's look at the flattening option. Alright, 
it seems to be flattening it out. But it's not digging it, it's only flattening it. So we have to go to, oh, fine drill. Oh yeah, look at that, it's got like a little fine drill. Alright, I don't want fine drill though. I want resource drill, get this out of here. <laughs> and let's go back to filler. You know, any any game I've ever played where you could adjust the terrain has never really worked 100%. Uh, I don't think I don't think the um, developers can get it to 100%. It's just you know it's just a hard thing to do, and I don't really hold it against them. It's just you know it is what it is. So let's go ahead and fill this side up so this thing isn't floating. All right, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I'll, I'll keep playing around with it as I uh, as I go along. But we got that all set up. All right, um, I went ahead and bought way more resources as well. So I've got all this stuff over here. Check this out. I've got all of these processing. All right. Oh, apparently they're all done. So I can actually hook up to my base. This is my, my drop base. And there's the container controller I put down. Oh, it's almost full. Crap. <laughs> wow. Well, I can make more... Con the cool thing about container controllers is you can add more storage onto them. All they have to do is be touching each other. There's two parts to it. There's the container, there's the container um, controller, and then there's the container extensions. And I can definitely go ahead and make some more extensions, but um, not just yet. Actually, I don't even think that can fit in there. Oh, yeah, we could have some issues here. All right. Well, I've got some ways around it. Let me uh, let me figure this out. See, what's happening is the container controller is full, so the output can't... These, these projectile turrets have nowhere to go. So I, I'm kind of locked in here now, but I've got some ways around it. So I know what you're thinking. Cage, what did you do? How did you fix it? Well, I'm going to show you, okay? So you're going to go to the container controller that is the problem, okay? You're going to connect up to it. Then you're going to drag anything you want to take out down into this yellow hotbar, okay? It might go back to your regular hotbar, but don't worry about that. What you're going to do is you're going to come outside. You're going to take one of these portable constructors, hit T, go into the portable constructor, put everything up here. It's a bit of um of a oversight that they made the portable constructors have never ending storage. So I put everything up here. I'm also processing stuff um, while I wait. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick this up. Now, as long as you're connected into here, when you pick something up, it'll automatically go into that storage. Um, this is supposed to be here. Why do I still have the survival tool? Honestly, the shotgun's kind of useless too, but anyway, let's go ahead and retrieve block. And there we go. Now we do is we come out here and we make sure we're locked in. You press T, go into this, and then you can drag everything back onto this hot bar to get it back inside. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I remember like a couple of videos ago, uh, actually it might've been like a quite a few videos ago, someone mentioned that the thing they don't like about this game is all the inventory management. Um, it does have a decent amount of inventory management, um, and that is kind of a problem. But at the same time, if you know how to work with it, once you learn how to work with the inventory in this game, it's not bad at all. Like, it's actually really, really good. Uh, you just got to, like, learn how to work with it. All right, so there we go. And now we have the advanced constructor. All right, and now we'll be able to make a lot more dope stuff. Let's take a look. Yeah, now we can make a lot of stuff here. What I wanted to make was the um, the gravity generator, um, but apparently I can't make that because we need flux coils. I'm going to have to see what I need for that gravity generator. I have a feeling I can make those flux coils. I just have to find out what they take. So I went for a little trip around the planet. Not totally around the planet, but I went over here and I grabbed some carbon. Um, and then I noticed... Yep, there are Xerox on this planet. Now, that doesn't mean I, my, I'm going to have a base attack. I think you need a drone base or something. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put down turrets and not, you know, have to deal with it. Um, because originally I was like, eh, you know, maybe I don't have to put down turrets. And, I, and then I was like, well, you're just being lazy and cheap. So just put down the turrets. If you don't like where they, if you don't need them, you can always take them and go somewhere else with them. All right. So I got these big turrets on the roof and those things are looking pretty good. And now I need personnel, uh, anti-personnel turrets. Now, those are on here, but they're hidden. Check it out. Uh, where is it? Power turrets. Look at that. What freaking dope is that? Actually, can these shoot up? I didn't think these personnel turrets could, um, could shoot, like, down drones. But this thing's pointing up, so who knows? Maybe it can shoot down drones. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go ahead and give them the ammo they need. Actually, I already gave them the ammo they need. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here. Yeah, the way these are set up, I think these could shoot down drone, uh, drones as well. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I've never... It's sentry guns. I thought these were just for, like, 
players. I didn't even think they would shoot at drones, but I I don't know. I, I have no idea. If it's pointing up and someone built this and it's on the official, you know, this is one of the official builds of the game. I'm assuming maybe it can shoot down drones. Well, I made a bunch more sniper rifles and by a bunch more, I mean like a lot more. Okay, we're going to go sell those. Um, what I would like to do today is get some auto miners down. Yes, there are auto miners in this game and they're freaking dope. The only one I can make though is the tier one because um, starting at tier two, you need Zycosium and there's no Zycosium that I can tell in this solar system. There's gotta be some way to get Zycosium in the solar system because in order to warp out of the solar system, you need Zycosium. Um, I'll show you when I get to Sanctuary uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Because um, yeah, I mean, there's gotta be a way to get Zycosium around here. I just don't know where. There's not any of the planets. Uh, at least not as far as, like, you know, um, an ore deposit. There could be, like, rocks, you know, of Zycosium. And I'm gonna have to look for that. But, yeah, this thing's a bit large to be, uh, parked here. <laughs> this ship's freaking ginormous. All right, let's get out of here. Come on. There we go. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about with the Zycosium. So, it, all right, so this is my solar system. I can warp from, from planet to planet using the warp drive I already have. But the warp drive I already have is a short-range warp drive. There's also the galaxy. Okay. Yeah. Right? See? I don't know how far this goes or what, but yeah. This is, um, it's pretty freaking huge. Uh, it might be never-ending. I don't know. Who knows? Um, I, I certainly don't know. But that's the galaxy. All right. Now, if I want to... Oh, by the way, there's also zones of control. Um, territories. This is the Xerox territory. I'm in the Xerox territory. And then there's all kinds of territories. All right. I'm going to take out that out, though. So if I want to go to another planet to try... First of all, you can't tell what's at the other planets until you go there. And if I want to go there, I'm going to have to travel not astronomical units, AU, but LY, which is light years. Okay. So I basically... What I'm going to need is a long-range warp drive. I'm going to need um, a capital vessel and a long-range warp drive. Let me see if I can find it in here. Yep, the warp drive. And in order to make the warp drive, I need... Actually, I might be able to make most of that. I think I can make most of that. Uh, 100, sa 100 sa Sathium plates might be a little challenging, but... Um, yeah, I might be able to make that. I thought you needed Zycosium for it, but now that I'm looking at those crafting components, I don't know if you actually do. I will need a capital vessel, though. So, um, that's something I'm going to be looking forward to. It's going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and sell some sniper rifles. So I sold all the sniper rifles. I've got a bunch of magnesium powder, some neodymium, pentaxid, promethium, and carbon substrate. Now, what I need to do if I'm going to make an auto miner is we're going to need certain materials. So um, let's take a look at these auto miners. So we're going to need capacitor device, titanium plates. Can I make titanium plates? I'm pretty sure I can because I have the titanium. I'm 90% sure. 95%. Motors I can make, flux coils I can make. Although I'm gonna need more neodymium for flux coils. That's gonna the, the neodymium is gonna be a problem. Okay. Uh, we also need auto miner cores, and the auto miner cores can be. I think you can loot them, but what I usually like to do is I like to come in here and buy them. Um, I'm just gonna buy 13. I'll just buy six for now. And I have 117,000 units left. So in order to get neodymium, I think we have it on one of the moons in the Crown sector thingy there's also an orbital thing right here what does this have oh that has magnesium oh that has neodymium maybe we should go there go somewhere new i know skillin has neodymium um yeah right there but in order to go somewhere new i think we'll go out here all right so we're gonna warp and i'm gonna show you guys the warp since i warped it at you the first time let's get up there and do some warping so it's just, where I'm going is just an asteroid field. So I'd imagine there's just going to be a bunch of asteroids, no planets or anything, and I can get the stuff I need off of asteroids. And I should have everything I need to be okay out there. You know, it gets to a point where this game gets overwhelming sometimes, where I'm like, I can't keep track of what I'm trying to do because there's so many things I want to do. All right, and here we are. So let's do this. And let's look around. And if I scan, it's quite a few things around here. There's a lot of ore. There's question marks everywhere. Um, I, I don't think the ore is anything I, I need. Um, Omicron sector. Yeah, it's got um, iron, silicon, copper, cobalt, ice, and promethium. The promethium is nice. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to lock on target. So I'm at the, I have no idea how to say that name, the Raho uh, Planetary Remnant. Oh, something got blown up there. Oh, it's like freaking Death Star. Do we have a Death Star in this game? Anyway, we're going to lock targets on that. And then once you've locked targets, you need to aim towards the target you just locked on. All right. And there it is. We're going to go right through our own planet. And then what you do is um, you make sure you have power and make sure you have a warp drive. Make sure you have power in your warp drive, which is right here. I could go 83 uh, astronomical units and I still have way more pentaxes than that. So you get this, you get your ship up to 50 meters a second. You press K and boop, 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 do. Warp drive. Er, my God. Hell yeah, dude. That is freaking dope. It's not quite as good as the, the way Star Wars looks when they do warp, but it's pretty good. All right, so we're going to come around here. Now, I'm kind of worried about anything in here that's going to mess with me. If they're just regular drones in here, I can handle that. But, yeah, if there's something serious... Oh, look at this. We've got a bunch of stuff already. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff all around us. Let's see if we can find it. There's one down there. Let's just kind of... Look around. There's one right there. Okay. Let's go check out these um these asteroids. And these are things that are going to have ores on them, which is great. And what you could do is, uh, when you get a capital vessel, you could plop a laser drill on top of it. And then you can, you can mine these things out with a laser drill off your capital vessel. You can't put laser drills on your small vessel. And I'm kind of okay with that because it makes the capital vessels even more worth getting. More worthwhile. So, uh, I'm just going to do that and just kind of float our way there. And we'll see what we get. Bingo, first try, Neodymium. Hell yeah, let's make sure there's no baddies in the area. Does not look like there are. And we got ourselves a Neodymium asteroid. Cool. One other thing I would like for them to do for the capital vessels is allow us to walk around in them when they're moving. Uh, that might never happen, but it would be cool if it, if it could. All right, there we go. And helmet on, jetpacks on, get out. And we have our, yep, radiation might be a bit of an issue. Yeah, radiation is not looking good. We should get some radiation things for this. All right, so let's uh, make sure we're locked into this. Plenty of room. Let's start mining. All right, cool. I don't know if this is going to be a lot of neodymium, but i got to figure out where to turn in those tokens. I think you can turn them in in Sanctuary. I'm not even sure what I'm going to get for them. Um, one of these... Uh, one of these days, I'll remember to turn them in at Sanctuary. I think it's at Sanctuary. Oh, beautiful. I'm a little bit worried about the radiation. I might have to put a shower in my new outpost. Although, maybe I'll make it a base. Should I live on Omicron? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Wow. I didn't think there was that much Neodymium in it. Look at this, man. And I still haven't gotten it all. I probably will not get it all today. I could, I could always come back. Hopefully, next time I come back, I'll have a... A capital vessel with a drill attached. That would be awesome. Yeah, this is cool. Alright, let's get back in our ship. Let's see how much we got. Yeah, we're working out at 614. It's not too bad. I, I Like I said, I'd rather come back with a capital vessel and the laser on it. I think that'd be pretty freaking cool. Alright, so now we're going to just reverse what we did. We're going to come over here. We're going to go to Omicron. Lock target. Aim for target. Um, I can't really tell. I should be able to take away everything on my on my on my uh, Akua. Just um, and I don't want to reset. All right, let's do this. Um, waypoint. See, I'm not sure how to make it stop showing up. Like you know, in the game, I turn off waypoints and it still kind of shows up. Um, yeah, that's my target right there. All right, let's warp back. So I went ahead and made, oh, where did I put them? Yeah, I put them in my ship. I made four auto miners. Again, tier one's the best I can make. It's a bit of a shame, but what are you going to do? All right, I'm going to put the Prometheum in here, and we are going to make some more of these power packs. Now, um, I've got a real problem here with, yeah, Zycosium and power coils. Um, I've got a real problem with power. Okay, I think that's my um, biggest issue at the moment. So let's go ahead and make some more of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first... Uh, actually, I might put a couple different tier ones. I have four tier ones, okay? I want to put one down on carbon, one down on promethium, and then the other two, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking maybe two promethium, two carbon, 
Um, carbon's something that I'm, you know, is kind of annoying to get, uh, and it's it does seem to go really quickly. You need it for so much stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for Promethium first and foremost. So let's see what we got in the area. All right, so that one has not been discovered yet. So we'll go for that one first. And I will keep going. Again, I want to find... You can't put you can't put two, uh, um, two auto miners down in the same node. So I'm going to find at least two Promethium and two Carbon. So I found a Carbon deposit. And I put down um, Promethium, Carbon, Carbon. What did I call it? Auto miner device tier one. Oh, the auto miner device tier one uh, automatically shows up for me. Okay. Um, I named car. I named it carbon miner, but you don't really need to do that. So there's the waypoint for the carbon miner. All right. And right. No, it should be right here. Yep. There it is. There we go. Carbon miner's right there. All right. So this registry thing works. Just, you know, I just need to put a little bit of time in on it. All right. So um, I went ahead and put an auto miner down there. I gave it some fuel. And now we were at Promethium, okay? There's a small deposit. Prometheums usually don't come in very large deposits. So if you're outside of the Promethium, it's red. If you're inside, it's blue. I don't know if it matters how close you put it. I don't think so, but I'm not really sure. All right, so there we go. And we got 37%, 37 per hour, which kind of blows, but what are you going to do? And we are going to load that one up. And I'm going to, you know what? Let's do three Promethium. I really need Promethium. So we're gonna we're just gonna find three three Promethium deposits. And the way I've been finding them is I just fly around and look for them. You just do this, you look around. Got a lot of stuff down here. Oh my goodness. Hopefully there's more down there. Uh there was some deposits of something up here in uh, in the Xerox territory. I'm hoping that's not Promethium. Because um I don't want to screw with the Xerox right now, but we'll have to see. So I think I'll come over here and I'll just hit each one of these in turn. So let's go for that one right there. And then we're going to hit all of them and see if we can find two more Promethean deposits. You know, while I'm looking for these Promethean deposits, let's talk about self-built items and stuff coming off of the workshop. I've had a couple people saying that they really want me to build stuff uh, and they don't want me to use stuff off the workshop. Now, I cannot make ships. There's a lot of little things that go into ships like like torque and and center of mass and a bunch of crap i don't freaking understand all right and not only that but even if i did even if i did understand it like i'm never going to make ships as cool as what the people out there are making now so uh, i'm just letting you know right off the bat straight up i'm not going to make ships no way never going to happen okay here's the thing though i usually like making bases but as I've been spawning in bases, uh, this thing's going to fall down. Nope. As I've been spawning in bases, there's two things I like about spawning in bases rather than building them myself. All right. The number one thing I like about spawning in bases and not building them myself is that uh, it's it's cool because if you if you if you get a base from someone else, you're going to be surprised by it. Right. Like, uh, how do I I'm trying to figure out how to explain this to you? Like, let's say you build a base, okay? You know every inch of that base. You've built it. There's no surprises, okay? Simply no surprises, okay? So that's one downside about it. Number two, and I'm, I'm, again, I mentioned this before, I'm never going to make anything as good as other people. Like, I, I mean, I'm okay, but man, some people make the most insane, awesome stuff. Now, with that all being said, there's no way I'm ever going to make ships, but I will make my own base. Just be prepared for media mediocrity compared to the other people. I mean, I think my bases are pretty cool, but when you look at the stuff that's like up on the uh, up on the workshop, it's like, you know, man, it's it's like it's insane how good they are at building bases. So, um I will build my own bases though. I, I do like building bases. I'm I'm trying to plan a a, a space station build that I'm going to be doing hopefully sometime soon. Uh yeah, but as far as ships, I'm just going to be straight up with you guys right off the bat, never going to happen. Um, but bases, I will make my own bases. Don't you guys think it's, like, really interesting to, like, use someone else's base? Because, like, there's... Like I said, it's all... I'm gonna look for some uh, extra ore here. See what kind of ore I can get near the tundra. See if there's anything interesting. But don't you think it's cool to, like, get a base? And it's, like, the mystery and, like, the intrigue and, and looking around and finding out all the little things that are put into the base. When you build your own base, you don't get any of that. So, I mean, that's definitely something to think about, I think. I think that's, uh, I think it's kind of a big deal, honestly. All right. 
I'm going to uh, try and find less Promethean deposit. Well, today has been a great episode. Let me show you the registry thing. Um, this is what the registry normally looks like for Omicron. Uh, if I click this button right here, all four portable constructors. And I can set up the waypoint to get to any of them. Um, and things are looking pretty good. The only thing is I have like almost no power. This right here, this 25% is the rest of the power I have. So what I did was I got some logs and I'm, I'm making some biofuel. I can't believe I'm making some biofuel again. Oh my goodness. Well, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Hopefully next time I play, we'll have a good amount of fuel um, in those uh, auto miners. And um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. What are we going to do next episode? Honestly, I don't know, guys. I'm either looking at a space station or I'm going to continue along with the quests. Um, there is a crashed ship over here that they want me to look at. Um, I think that one's the one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. Um, they want me to they want me to go check out that crashed ship. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do the space station. I'm not really sure. But one thing's for sure. We've made great progress in this episode. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.